How to Bake a Book. This story is written by Ella Burford. I'm going to bake a book. I'll break some ideas into a cup. I'll beat them, whisk them, mix them up. I'll weigh out the words. Just enough. Choosing the right ones can be tough. The small ones go into the pot, and then I'll drop some big words from way up. Now that my story has begun, I will cut out characters one by one. Feelings, colors, sound, a picture. All add flavor to my mixture. I'll add a watery word or two. I'll pour them in and stir them through. Now I'll put a lid on it. Wait a while. Let it sit. It's not until I roll it out that I'll find out what it's all about. And now I'll lay it in the tin. So my characters can all jump in. Now the middle, the action, the filling, into the pan, without any spilling. Now all I'll do is simply add a spoonful of good and a pinch of bad. Turn up the heat. The bubbles quicken, and then my plot begins to thicken. Each sentence will taste much better. If I add periods and capital letters, I'll find them in a moment. I've seen them myself. Here they are, big cupboard, top shelf. Finally, the ending. I'll press it down, and add decorations all around. I'll glaze it with happiness, leave it to cook, and bake it, brown it, and finish my book. I turn the pages, and I can see that my recipe has turned out quite tasty. I've done everything, as the cook, to make my story a delicious book. Join one lucky little girl as she learns the recipe for making the perfect story.